Well, hello, Taurus. This is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration. Here at this channel, we help you lead a whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. Taurus, I ain't forget about you. Uh, we are here for your Mercury retrograde reading. Okay, so this is Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising for your Mercury retrograde reading. Now, this is going to take you up through the end of the Mercury retrograde season. Help us understand where what energies are coming in towards us, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and also um, kind of where we should be focusing ourselves. So here we are. Uh, we're going to look at the tarot. We are going to be using the messages from the guide deck by James Van Pra. We are also going to be using the Archangel Power Tarot cards by Bradley Valentine. And then if we need further clarification, we've needed it sometimes, not needed it others. We're all going to be using the Celestial Tarot. So there we have it. Let's begin with messages from the guides. So what do we have for Sor Tor Soros? Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. Taurus, sun, moon, and rising for the Mercury retrograde. Have an attitude of gratitude. Now, during this Mercury retrograde, this is going to be really interesting for you. Um, at the time of this recording, we will have just completed the uh, um, new moon. Okay, we will have just completed the new moon. Um, and uh, in Libra. But Uranus is in retrograde in your sign. And so that is, you know, creating a little bit of a lot of disruption. Not a little bit, a lot of bit of disruption. So I'm not going to sugarcoat it and make it seem like it's something that it's not. It's very disrupting. So in your day-to-day -day activities, right? So therefore, we really have to pay attention to um, being grateful and having the gratitude for what we do have and kind of confronting our greatest fears all at the same time because that's really what this is bringing up, right? Our greatest fears. You are here for a reason. So the, all of the things you have thus far accomplished, Taurus, um, you really, you know, you're here for a reason and, you know, go on and embrace it and understand that while it may seem like things are just kind of blowing up on you and everything, you know, it's going topsy freaking turvy, um, you're here for a reason and we need to focus on what that reason is. We need to finish discovering what that reason is. We need to really, you know, be real about it, about it. And then forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for any perceived mistakes or wrongdoings, right? Um, the most important person to forgive when you're doing shadow work is forgive yourself. And I'm going to talk a lot a bit about that aspect of it too. Interestingly enough, we do have a lot of throat chakra energy here throat chakra energy and you've got some sacral roots into the throat chakra for your here and I would say higher higher chakras as well that just to me sacral the colors on this card sacral throat and then I'm also picking up some third eye um, and crown chakra energy here as well as far as working on some chakras listen having the attitude of gratitude it doesn't mean you're just going through life just like da -da 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 -da, I'm just happy, nothing's going on, everything's fine. Da -da -da -da. No, what that means is you look at both your greatest fears and your greatest accomplishments every day. What are you proud of? You've done something today that you're proud of. You've done something today that you're proud of, and just open yourself up to it and love it. Um, open yourself up to what is new and exciting. Um, open yourself up to and, and speak out those accomplishments and what you're proud of. Don't just let it sit there and not be, um, and not re re recognize. Sometimes we can look at our, the negative portions of our lives and that's all we see. And we don't see the positive. We don't see the wins. We don't see where spirit has provided for us where we have co-created our lives, right? We just don't see that. And because we don't see that, um, it's problematic. Um, because we don't see it, it is 
difficult then to keep going forward in our purpose and our reason for being here. It gets more difficult as time goes on to do so. Um, because if you're only seeing the negativity, if you're only seeing where things didn't work out right, if you're only seeing how, you know, life has taken a big dump in, in the third dimensional realm, and you're not seeing where you are, in fact, empowered, embraced, loved, appreciated, where spirit is truly pouring out to you, um, ways and means, right? Um, and, and, and where you are co-creating your world and there are areas that there's abundance, there are areas where there's peace and you're only going by what the negative things as they have occurred, you're, you're not going to be able to elevate your frequency to a point where you are manifesting on a regular basis. Good, 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 and good. Okay. Well, you're not able to do that. And if you can't keep your levels up, your frequency levels up, what's coming from your heart chakra. If, and the other thing that happens is when you're not, vi when you're not having the attitude of gratitude, literally speaking out what you're grateful for every day, the wins, then what happens is that you cannot visualize your future. You can't visualize yourself living in your, in your purpose. You can't visualize it. You, you're always going to say, well, I might be here for a purpose, but there's so many reasons why I can't accomplish it. And that's not where spirit wants you. That's not where you're to be in any stretch of the imagination at all. Having this attitude of gratitude is not just to have a gimme, gimme, gimme attitude. It's not just all about getting. It's also about giving. It's also about just sheerly living. So during this Mercury retrograde, while this is in Scorpio, um, I can see where some of you guys with some of the other transits that are going on, I can really see where some of y'all might be so kind of down on either yourself or down on other people you've been in relationships with. And like, I don't understand why I'm still in these types of relationships. I don't get why I can't figure it out. I don't get, I don't get, I don't get. I can see how that could happen very easily. And I could see where that would be a problem. So what we need to do, right, is recognize that this is a potential issue. And by recognizing that it's a potential issue, um, you know, overcome that by counteracting the kind of, I always choose the wrong person. Well, why? My friends tend to do me dirty. Well, why? What is it within you that's attracting this? What is it within you that's attracting this type of person? What is it within you that's not allowing you yourself to fulfill your destiny? What is it? So I need you to find that. I need you to locate that information. And from there, determine, yes, you are here for a reason. And forgive yourself for your mistakes. Forgive yourself for allowing these people in your life. Forgive yourself, even if we're doing shadow work and integrative work, forgive yourself for um, even the childhood. Because one of the hardest things that and when we're doing shadow work to really realize and like um, integrate and, and accept is that we did choose our lives before we came here. That we did choose the experiences for whatever reason. And that's kind of our, our then job to figure out that reason as to why and then you know um and then also in the forgiveness of others for what they've done to us or how they made us feel or all of that in that forgiveness space there's also the space for forgiving yourself because if you don't forgive yourself right um you're not clearing the rest of the karma out you're not clearing the rest of that energy out yes you may have been a child but it in, but your your spirit is eternal. I say this a lot. Your spirit's eternal. So even as a child, 
Your spirit, which is eternal and has been here before, knows that this behavior is incorrect or this treatment is incorrect. But what happens is it gets so ingrained in our cellular memories, we literally attract that energy. Um, the first card I have to you, what's coming to you is the King of Gabriel. Generous, inspirational, dramatic, and driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Love the details. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. You're going to have some people coming into your life that have genuine concern for you. You're going to have people that are exiting your life that do not have genuine concern for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Probably more. I feel like some of you guys have been doing a great purge. There's more to come during this Mercury retrograde. You might not purge them during it, but you're going to see their true identities and see their true um, aspirations and desires. Uh, because of that fact, though... Uh, you might feel like you've been overly generous in some areas, but I feel like there's going to be some people generous towards you and then you can are then able to reciprocate. So all the seeds that you've sown of being generous to others that may feel like they don't deserve it, all those seeds that you've sown, they're growing. And after the end of this retrograde, once you clear out the rest of the chaff, once you clear out the rest of the fake, once you clear out the rest of the phonies, once you clear out the rest of the weeds, after Mercury retrograde, then you're going to start seeing the harvest because, yep, this, this season that you're in right now, this portion of the season, this phase of the season is coming to an end. Uranus is still transiting you for your sign for quite a while. Oops, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Um, it's still transiting your sign for quite a while. Therefore, there's certain phases of growth we're going through on a very foundational, integral, individual basis. So we have the world card next, Archangel Michael, a very happy ending coming full circle. There's a lot of spiritual growth and insight going on during this Mercury retrograde. Let's continue to pull some cards here. We have strength, Archangel Ariel, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. We're back to forgiving and self-confidence. Forgive yourself. Be confident in yourself. You have the strength to get through this. Trust me. You have the strength to get through this. You can make it. You can't. You can do it. Ten of Michael, a situation has ended. This is the Ten of Swords. And you are fully free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. Put the past behind you, right? These seasons of 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 deceit and lies are are over. And then here we have the star card, Archangel Jophiel. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. You guys are by the end of this Mercury retrograde, really coming out of kind of this funky season. Um, Uranus will still be in retrograde, I believe, until the end of the year in your sign. However. I don't feel that is a bad thing because it's it's for it's forcing you to not it's it's forcing you to review some of the radical changes that have happened and embrace them. It's also putting a pause on more radical change and allowing you to catch your breath and then opening up your eyes to uh, to the third level of radical change um, that's going to happen for you. And then we have the six of cups. So this could be uh, over this King of Michael. There could be family members that are going to begin to be more generous towards you and nicer towards you. Uh, somebody from your past potentially as well. I also see you reflecting on these things, reflecting on these energies, reflecting on these relationships over the last, however long. And because you've been reflecting on that, um, there's certain things that are going to come to light, right? Um, and then, yep. And even your, your interpersonal, um, two of cups here. So, you know, if you're booed up, bait up, married up, whatever the case is, you could be reviewing those relationships as well. But these are all soulmate, all the soulmate soul ties, all of your soul ties are be, are under review right now. Some of them you're going to need to ditch. A lot of them you're going to be able to keep and you may be developing new ones. Um, and if there have been third party with the three of cups situations where people haven't been completely honest with you or just been too many cooks in the kitchen, you're getting rid of them. That's okay. By the end of the Mercury retrograde, it'll be okay to remove them. You're just seeing them for who they are. And then it'll be a time of celebration with the remaining Queen of Cups. This is a lot of self-care right now. Okay. This is a constant and consistent theme with this world card. So you're not really like trying to 
focus on everybody else so much as you're really focusing on yourself. Two of Swords, it's time for you to make a decision. Are you really going to live your life and live your purpose and live your reason for being here? Or are you going to continue to let other people just speak into you and speak over you? And it's not really authentic to you anyway. Um, because if you make this, the decision you're going to make is going to bring you victory, right? With the Six of Wands. So as you let this happen and you take care of yourself, you make the decision to be the best you that you can, to be the best you that, that's here, right? The most effectual you, um, you're going to find victory in all these decisions and find victory in letting the toxic energies go. And they don't even have to be toxic. It could just be that the season is over and just embrace that the season is over. It's over for a lot. Um, with the strength card, we have the 10, <laughs> here's the 10 of Michael, 10 of swords, right? situation has ended and you've 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 displayed or by the end of this time you displayed the strength that it takes to get through it and here's the star card again i'm done i'm not pulling any more cards listen wish fulfillment comes as you let these things in do not hold on to them do not be sitting here going look they're trash this that and the third and you're just like holding on to the hurt don't hold on to the hurt let let it go let it go, let it go, right? You gotta let it go. Let the past go because you can't go forward if you're still looking at the past. Have the attitude of gratitude. What have you done now? What has been the best that's happened to you right now? And embrace that and love it and, and accept it and just be it. Some of you all are really gonna have to forgive yourself. The, the reason why you can't forgive the other person is because you're having difficulty forgiving yourself. Because you keep kicking yourself saying, I should have known better. Listen, now that you know better, you could do better. All right. Anyway. Um, thank you, Taurus. That's your reading. I'm sorry. That was just like, ooh, that was that was crazy. Uh, just at the time of this recording, it's October the 17th. I have, I'm going to keep the registration open for the retreat, the virtual retreat, Be the Light virtual retreat till tomorrow sunday the 18th like at about midnight central time then we're gonna close her down um so there's time to register um the links are down below there's gonna be a short clip right here but basically it's light worker boot camp okay it's a over 1200 dollars value in this virtual retreat that that i'm getting to you all for 497 we'll, we do have payment plans available so email me at admin at heart of inspiration.net for that but watch this really short clip it'll explain a little bit more about what we're doing it's going to be a powerful activation weekend we need more of you light workers out there doing the work. We need you activated. We need you walking in your gifts. We're going to be working on that, attuning you to Reiki levels one and or two. Um, we're going to be teaching you some really intricate and deep um, meditation methodologies, astral travel, sight, things of that nature, spiritual warfare, all that great stuff. So check this out. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. I really do appreciate all your support. If you want to work with me in any other way, heartofinspiration.net, that link is down below as well. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you very much. Namaste. Bye-bye.